What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all is good wherever you are. In this video, we're going to watch two separate videos of two fathers fighting the school boards at their local school because of some of the disgusting books that are being found in the libraries of schools for little children. This video is from The Blaze TV. I'm going to link their original video in the description. Uh, please go over there, subscribe to their channel, give them a like. They put out some good content. Let's get into it. Um, and so, so you guys probably are aware that TPS and Mustang schools are going through some accreditation problems via HB 1775. Um, you guys are gonna have the same issue if you don't clean it up. And I'm gonna find it, and I've got some connections that I've made over the last couple of years um, battling you guys, that I'll, I'll bring that to bear. These books, this is in two elementary schools. It feels good to be yourself, a book about gender identity. Sanger and Will Rogers teaches teaches the kids that the doctor's merely guessing whether it's a boy or a girl. That's a millstone offense. Explicit child rape, child molestation. Disgusting stuff, man. Do these have academic value? You guys are gonna have to answer that question. And, I, and it shouldn't take a form. If I send an email to a man who's in charge of protecting the innocence of our children, and the response is fill out a form, I would consider that a millstone offense. There's a rape of a 10-year-old girl graphic in this book. It's heartbreaking. Uh, by no means should there be um, a ban on books. Don't mistake what I'm saying for that. There ought be academic books in the school libraries. And this problem, I, I never imagined it would be at my alma mater. I went from fourth grade up to Stillwater Public Schools. I'm, a, I'm an alum. And we have books after book after book after book. This is at the junior high. This book contains sexually explicit assault and battery. Um, um, I, I hesitate to read it. I, 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 I don't feel comfortable reading it to adults, 13-year-olds can check this book out. And you guys have bought it for them and provided it for them. And it needs to be corrected ASAP. The type of stuff that legitimately makes my skin itch. Like it just makes me angry when we talk about small children. Small children should be kept safe, protected, and as innocent as possible for as long as possible. They don't understand this stuff. They're too young when they're very small. They don't need to know about it. And it's not the school board's job at that age to Teach that stuff. This is evil, disgusting stuff. And look at the people in the panel. Like, they're not even phased by it. They're listening to this man. They're probably not even, like, actually listening to him. They're just letting him talk. Nobody's reacting. This is evil shit right here. This is what that is. This is pure evil. Are you going to eat her? Yeah, Earl. I'm going to eat her. Do you even know how to eat? Uh, no, not really. Papa Gaines never sat you down and said, son, one day you're going to have to eat the No, but he taught me how to eat a Yep, I would teach you some technique, but it's a little complicated. Son, I don't have time for that. I got 20 over here I need to eat. Is that right? I'm on a deadline. It goes on and on and on and on and on and on. There, there, there are 79 in this book. 79, 51 shits, 11 dicks, 15 and nine goddamns, and a list goes on. And you guys need to fix it. Thank you. Like, look at those people. Do they not have children? Do they not have morals or values? Because look at their faces. They're stone cold. They're unfazed by this. They don't care at all like if anybody was a child anybody who's around children if you have relatives with children friends with children you would think man we got to keep these these little people protected and this is not the way to do it you can't have this stuff in a school system for little people being taught by these ideologues like you don't need much credentials to be a elementary school teacher let's face it and a lot of these people have an ideology that they want to push on your kids and uh it's just pure evil it's just pure evil. Let's watch the second clip, and then I, I got a little bit of a rant that I want to let out, but uh, <laughs> I'll leave it for after the video. That way, whoever wants to click off 
I can click off. Let's watch. Let's watch the second clip. Now on the topic of these pornographic books that you keep calling these uh, point of contacts on as it relates to whether they should be read or not. Um, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, currently in Storm Grove Middle School and Freshman Learning Center. Page 265. As if letting him finger me was going to cure all okay, my you. problems. Sir, I'll stop but you there. in the end, Sir, I, I never stop told you, you to there. get away. And then and we you will continue. You stop to rubbing not look circles at that. I'm on going my to stomach. Stop you there, please. Instead, you rub Would back you and forth please? gently along my cut waist. Your pinky made its way it. under the stop top it, of my please. panties Sir, and rolled stop back it. and forth you don't from stop hip to hip. Sir, he needs to be removed. Thank you. This advocate right here for our side is Pastor John Amon Chuku. He's a father. Again, he's a pastor. The link to his channel is in the description down below. He does great work uh, for our side. Uh, we need more people like him. This book that he's reading to these people, and they don't even want to hear it. They're all disgusted by it. This is the same book that they're making available to young children in our school systems. Now, I don't even care if the kids are in high school. There's no need of them having access to this type of material that's not what they should be learning in high school. This is not going to help them with the SATs. This is not going to help them choose a career. This is not going to help them advance in life if they don't choose to go to university, if they choose to become a plumber or something like that, which is way better than learning some retarded thing in university like lesbian dance and leave university with $100,000 in debt. They should be learning that they don't learn because let's face it, a lot of these kids, they leave high school. They don't even know how to manage in the real world they don't know how to buy their first home they don't know that they should have a 401k a roth ira they have no idea how to open a business how to legally lower their taxable income how to implement intelligent protective structures into their life for their properties for their businesses in case they get sued or they get a divorce that they are protected they don't know how to you know buy an index fund reinvest their dividends all these things that are quite vital if you want to be successful and grow your wealth in life Nobody teaches this. The school system don't teach that. They like people to stay poor and, you know, oppressed so that you become good workers in the workforce. It's the same freaking thing, right? You From the day you're born to the day you die, if you're in the workforce, you get up at 8 o'clock or you start work at 8 o'clock in the morning. You get your break at 12. You leave at 5. From the day you start like elementary school all the way till you're done in the workplace. It's freaking ludicrous. It's not in 2023. This is an outdated system. This is not what we be, should be teaching people in school. And we should definitely not have these freaking books anywhere near kids. Kids should be kept innocent. Even high school kids shouldn't have access to this in the school library. This is not like whatever happened to the brothers Karmazov, you know? Dostoevsky, read that shit. That's a great book, one of the best books to ever be written. Learn that stuff, not this shit. This should not be around our children and definitely these people here, these evil people should not be the ones uh, that are advocating for what literature is available for young minds out there. Um, sorry, this stuff really makes me itch. I could go, I could rant on this for about an hour, but y'all have better things to do than listen to me rant all day. So thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, if you don't mind, it really helps me out. It helps me get these videos out to more people. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.